So today I'm going to be making a fruit bowl and once it's leather hard I'm going to be using a drill to make a design in the bowl piercing all the way through it. So by the end of this video I'll be, have glazed my bowl and you'll be able to see the finished result. Right here is the beginning of my um, fruit bowl Just through a nice large bowl. I'm going to try and cut it off without touching it. There we go. Okay. This is nice and thick for easy trimability. So there's my bowl. The base obviously is going to be gone and it's just going to curve right under. Right now, Elsie's just marking the places where she's going to do her design. So now I'm going to get started on my bowl. I drew these X's. Um, I'm going to do kind of a flower design, so these are going to be the middles of the flowers. Here we go. Did it work? There's the first hole. Quick update. Driller here. Elsie's done, but she's gonna do it in the base. Mm -hmm. It'll most likely result in disaster because of all the time I've spent on this. But hopefully not. This bowl is done. done. It's a lot lighter than it was before, which is good. And it has a nice flower pattern stamped through it. Here's this bowl. It's been waxed on the base, um, and we actually had to remake it because it got cracked when it was drying. But here we are, and we got this nice airbrush, and today we're going to um, now glaze the bowl with the airbrush. So we'll see how it goes. Why don't you just hold it steady? Look how smooth it is with the base. Pretty smooth. So the problem was is we got wax in the base. So we're probably gonna end up firing this one time and then having to fire it again because and putting more glaze. So that's kind of a bummer, but you could probably just cover that up. Here is our finished um, fruit bowl. The glaze unfortunately turned out a little bit poor on the outside here. It was a little bit thin and then we got some drips um, and that was because this was one of our first times using the airbrush and we were not very experienced. Yeah, I think we made the glaze a little bit too thin which made it get some drips. But other than that I think the color of the glaze is very nice and we'll definitely be using this fruit bowl. Please subscribe!